My name is Ryan Levi Plu. We're here at WJ Titan, and this is In The Lab. So in prior videos, we've discussed concentricity and symmetry, but I really wanna hit on it today to kinda of go into further details about what it is and why the industry moved away from it. So in the recent version of ASME Y14.5, the 2018 version, they removed concentricity and symmetry and replaced it to be included into true position. Now the reason for that is concentricity was such a hard measurement to accurately report and interpret that it caused a lot of confusion, a lot of headache throughout the industry of, hey, I want concentricity to be on my print. Well, how does that actually translate into measurement? The same thing happened with symmetry. And the reason being is, is what those two callouts actually controlled. Now, concentricity is a stack up of center points along a feature in relation to a datum. And what that means is, is if you only took two slices on a feature, it'd just be those two center points. But if you took three, it would be three center points, or seven, or nine, or 11. And the argument was is concentricity takes up the totality of a surface of a feature into account when you're measuring all those stacked center points to get how concentric is this one diameter to another. And as you can imagine, those are really complicated things to replicate with hand tools. Now a CMM world, it's all virtual measurements, the math's there, the feature data's there. But trying to incorporate that and actually do it with hand tools was rather complicated. Symmetry became the same thing. Whereas concentricity is usually circular feature center point stacked, symmetry is, is 2D width features center stacked. So you have a plane to plane, a bunch of center points stacked through space. It's how symmetrical are those center points to the theoretical mid. Again, as you can imagine, trying to replicate that measure with hand tools was difficult. And a CMM world is very virtual. We can incorporate that point data and plot it out for you and give you that measurement. And then it was really hard to have a reference for that measurement. The true position, essentially, instead of looking at established center points through a feature, it looks at the whole feature as a whole versus a whole feature to another. So the true position incorporated and then removed the necessity for concentricity and symmetry. So again, just realize that moving forward, Concentricity and symmetry isn't going to exist in the GDT world after the 2018 standard. Now, if you come across a print that was made in the earlier standards like 2009, you're still gonna see it, it's still an applicable measurement. Again, my name is Ryan Levi Plu. We're here at WJ Titan, and this is In The Lab.